The question you're asking today is, should I pay off my life insurance loan? And it's a really good question to ask, and there's probably a broader context around it. So let's dig into the multiple reasons of why you maybe don't want to, or why you should pay it off. One of the very first things I think about when we're talking about life insurance loans is this concept of bank on yourself or the infinite banking concept or whatever name that you've run across it as. The idea is we're gonna build up money in our life insurance and then we're going to borrow or leverage from it and we're going to buy something, right? A lot of times that's a real estate venture Maybe it's a car, right? You're gonna finance some consumer debt, or maybe you have big credit card bills that you just wanna pay off and not be paying that high, high interest. Well, if you have the right type of life insurance with the right type of company, like a whole life with a good mutual company that isn't gonna hurt your dividends when you're taking a loan from it, the great thing is you get to set up the schedule of how that's paid off. So what that means is unlike a home equity line of credit where the bank is gonna send you a bill every month, the life insurance company is not going to do that. They're going to put it on you to decide if and when you pay them back. Now that has some good points and some bad points, right? If cash is at a crunch right now, then it's probably good that you don't have to pay it back. But longer term, if you bought this policy because you wanna use it to buy multiple properties, or you wanna go and leverage and use it for other things, or maybe you wanna use that cash value later in life as a retirement supplement, well, if you don't pay that loan back, if you don't put that money back into the policy, you're just not going to have the same amount that you thought you would have when you get to retirement. Back to the idea of these insurance companies, you know, different insurance companies are going to charge you different rates to borrow. So if you're losing dividend crediting or you're paying high interest rates to the insurance company, you probably do want to pay that loan back, right? There's no sense in leaving that loan out there because that could hurt or affect the actual death benefit. And if the death benefit's important to you, and you wanna leave the most amount of death benefit possible, you don't wanna have a loan against the policy because the loan against the policy is going to take away from the death benefit that you're leaving your family. So if death benefit is really important, try to get that loan paid back as soon as possible. Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Gill in the Money Minute. And the question is, why would you take out a loan in the first place and the answer is to put it into proper investments. Okay, for example, if you're borrowing money to buy a piece of real estate or to put it back into your business so you could improve research and development and hire people that can help speed up the process to your success, then taking out a loan is a brilliant idea. If you're doing it to go on a European vacation, not a good idea. But back to the interest rates that banks are charging. Think about this. The bank's interest rates today are so low, they're at like 3% or maybe less. You know, I don't know when you're watching this, but what I do know is that a lot of banks are charging less interest and will give you a line of credit against your life insurance policy than some of the insurance carriers will even allow for you to borrow from. So what does that mean? Let's say you were paying an 8% borrowing rate from your life insurance policy, and you could now get a 3% borrowing rate from a bank. You're going to create the need to make those payments, right? But you'll be able to pay back at a much lower interest rate, which will accelerate the time in which you can pay this loan back. The other thing you wanna think about is really what was the intention behind this policy? and what is the loan and what is the strategy, right? Because if we're in retirement and we're starting to take money from the policy, uh, we're gonna do that in a couple different ways. And we're going to try to do it in the most tax efficient manner possible. But one of the intentions behind that is to create this tax-free retirement income. And in that scenario, we're not looking to pay that loan back ever. 
right? What we're going to be doing is spending out the cash in that policy and just leaving a smaller death benefit for our family. So in that case, no, it doesn't make sense to pay the loan back. One of the other things you need to be careful about is what is that loan or how is that loan impacting the overall policy itself? So certain policies like IULs, you know, or variable universal life policies, they fluctuate with the market. And when you're pulling money from them, if you're not paying the policy and you've got a loan out against it and loan interest is accruing, all of these things could be putting the policy at risk of lapse. And if the policy is at risk of lapse, there could be, depending on your circumstances and the way things were, there could be a tax implication if that policy was to lapse. So in that case, it might be very important for you to really identify and look through your policy or seek the advice of somebody that really understands this policy and can really help you identify, is this policy at risk of lapse? Because it is, that could be a taxable implication. And if you have this loan out there, and I've seen it before, where interest is just accruing because we're not making any payments, that interest accrual is going into that policy, creating a larger loan every single year, and that could also be a big problem. So that might be one thing you wanna think of, right? The, the ideas of borrowing and leveraging and using a life insurance policy are great. And all the things that are really good about it can also be the things that are bad about it, right? If left to our own devices and we have to figure out how to make these payments back in and we just decide not to pay them, that could be a problem, right? It could cause long-term issues with this policy. So as a rule of thumb, you wanna take a look at, well, what is the interest that I'm being charged? And can I at least minimally make those interest payments? By the way, if you've had a policy in place for quite some time, and let's say it's a whole life policy that pays dividends, you can actually take that dividend and rather than reinvesting it in the policy, you can use that dividend to pay loan interest and possibly pay the loan back itself. If you have a loan on your policy and you're not quite sure who to turn to, we can help provide a customized game plan on what are the right course of action for you, whether you pay this policy loan back or not to pay it back. In order to get that, it's no cost. Just click the link below and we'll customize a free game plan for you.